Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Aries. How are you? What's happening with single Aries in their love life? Single Aries, there we go. These ones wanted to come out first. Oh, there you go. Ooh, a little moon, a little confusion. Yeah, you know what you want here. Definitely you don't want confusion, secrets, mysteries. It's also an energy of romantic energy. Yeah, you might be a little confused. Somebody's reaching out, but they're not telling you everything. Someone's not telling you. They're not sharing all about themselves. So make sure. Yeah, I do feel like you're not sure if you want to reciprocate here. Yeah, it's an energy of someone putting themselves out there, opening up emotionally. So yeah, I feel like you're kind of looking at this. This is something you want to go for here. If you want to reciprocate to this person, because I do see someone reaching out. They're not telling you something. Little cancer energy. So someone who's keeping secrets, keeping things to themselves, or you're just feeling confused. You know, you may be thinking you should just walk away and look for something else here. Yeah. See, it goes from the Ten of Cups. But see, it's an energy where I feel like, you know, you, something you wanted here, but I do feel someone's not... They're secretive. There's mystery, confusion. Now, often it's romantic energy where somebody's just reaching out that way, but it's that moon energy. Yeah, see, it's a person who rushes in very quickly. This is also yourself, too, you know. <laughs> it's a card of intuition, so I feel like, it, you know, you can see something's off here. It has to do with someone walking away. Somebody rushed in very quickly and walked away. But I feel like you're looking at this thinking you should just walk away from this. Yeah, because I do feel that someone who comes in, they don't tell you everything. They're very enthusiastic, very charming, very good looking, but there's the communication, the way they communicate. Secrecy. See, this is a person who, it's often just someone who's trying to tempt you. You see, they're trying to tempt you. Yeah, so I do see that energy of looking at the details of the situation. Just taking your time and looking at it, yeah, being discerning, being wise. See, you want clarity. This is a time to ask the questions, you know, what is it that you really want here? Because this is someone who is dropping hints, tossing breadcrumbs, see, and that's where I feel, you know, you feel. I feel like your intuition, a little cancer energy. Yeah, and there, see, they're not telling you everything. And this is someone who's not telling you the things you need to know. So if, you, if you're dealing with someone like that right now, don't rush into anything with this person. Ask the questions. Be discerning. Because I feel there's a lack of clarity. You want someone who puts all their cups on the table. Someone who's not afraid of putting themselves out there. So you want to be happy. You want emotional fulfillment. But I feel it's an energy. Like it goes from the 10 to the 8. So I, I feel it's, you know, it's something you kind of wanted. But... I feel, and it could be this person too, like I say, they come in and then they just walk away if you give them what they want. So no, they're not telling you something. They're keeping some things to themselves. Now, I, to be fair, yeah, see, I would be a little cautious of that. Boy, that just came out in a hurry. I didn't expect that. So it's a person who comes in quickly and then and runs away. So it's like they drop a hint and it's a person who doesn't follow through. It's like someone's not following through. Maybe you're going to tell someone it's time for them to just walk away. Keep on going. <laughs> tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you may be dealing with someone like that where they just tossing hints. They, they're not clear about what they want. But yet you can see their energy rushing in very quickly. Yeah. Queen of Wands. A little Sag energy there. Yeah, there it is. Sagittarius. See, something feels off. It doesn't feel right. This is where I feel it's telling you to be very discerning of this person because I feel you want clarity. You're going to ask this person questions and I actually feel they might just run away and avoid even answering. Yeah, it's a person who doesn't follow through. They come in and then they, you know, yeah, they just... And I feel it's an energy of someone looking for something else here too. Like, what is it they're looking for? What is it that you want? Let's have a look at the moon. Yeah, something feels off. Secrecy. Yeah? Someone who doesn't come in right. They're not coming in right. Something feels off. You might even feel this person's just not your type too. You like to have things straight up. 
Yeah, the little BS detectors going off here. Some Libra energy, if you have it in your chart. This could be someone giving advice, too. Somebody giving someone advice. It could be someone, they, maybe they're sharing this information with someone else, reaching out, and someone's telling them to just keep on going. Yeah, more than likely yourself. Yeah, see, it has to do with someone reaching out. Now, this could be a place where people congregate, where they socialize, spend money. It has to do with whether this is in your best interest. Because I do feel it's very tempting. See, there's this temptation. Now, maybe it's yourself feeling tempted. But I, I feel it's yourself feeling something is off because the Queen of Swords is here. That's when your sword goes up, that protection energy. Yeah. Does this person have your best interest at heart? I feel like you see something here may not be in your best interest. It could be someone giving advice, but yeah, it has to do with this person putting in the effort. See, they're not putting in the effort. This is someone who wants you to do the work. So in other words, they tempt you and they want you to be the one to carry on. <laughs> mm hmm. But I, I feel this is someone who runs away. Now, it could be due to all kinds of things. So we'll see if we can dig out that energy. Yeah, if you've dealt with this, it, it, to me, it's a person who doesn't follow through. And if this is someone who's, who's done this before, it looks like someone who's done it before. I feel like you're going to tell them to either just move on or you want to know the truth. What is it you want? See, there's this, this is where you already know everything you need to know. I don't know if this is worth the work because it has to do with, I feel some of you are just busy doing other things too. I feel like you're just keeping some things to yourself, focusing on work. But I, I, I feel it has to do with this person. It takes two people to build here. See, and this person wants you to do all the work. And I feel like it's like you just don't have the time for this. You know, it's just your intuition, you know. You already know everything you need to know. I feel like you know who this person is too. It's like they reach out to tempt you. And I do feel like you're tempted, but I feel like it's telling you to just walk away. It may not be in your best interest. And it could be someone else telling this person that. There's something else going on here. So if you aren't in that Queen of Swords, I see some Libra yeah, or Gemini. Yeah, some energy of magician, someone trying to manifest could be someone manipulating. I feel like you already know. Like there could be someone here who's Gemini or Libra involved. You know, it's an energy of some sort of um, communication, the way someone communicates. So they could be telling someone and telling someone a secret or telling them and the other person is telling them to keep on going. It could be giving you advice or this person. Yeah, there's something cooking here. Yeah. If you got a friend who's a Gemini or a Libra who may be... Now, I don't know if this person is sharing, telling, communicating with someone else and they're telling them to walk away or it's just yourself trusting your inner knowing. This is somebody who's being manipulative, see, not telling the truth. Yeah, there it is. See, it's about dating. This is someone kind of exploring their feelings, but there's something kind of wishy-washy about this secretive someone keeping secrets keeping something to themselves the moon um, the high priestess here tells me something isn't quite right yeah but i feel this is somebody who wants to i mean they want to ask you out but i feel they're not clear so yeah and it could be there's another person involved here too so who is this queen of swords oh that came out quick yeah competition conflict drama yeah it could be somebody competing for the same person but it's avoiding. I feel it's an energy of trying to avoid uh, conflict, drama, competition. Yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces. Tell me about justice. So somebody not coming in right. They're secretive. They're hiding something. That's where I feel something's off. You know this isn't right, but I feel like you're tempted. They're tempting you. Yeah, so this is definitely an energy of someone either crushing or it's an energy of just sort of reminiscing. It's just keeping things simple here. Someone here is definitely longing for love, but because I do feel this is someone who's kind of longing for some love here, but... Like I say, it's an energy of drama, competition. I don't know if you got a person competing for the same person or someone's giving someone advice. Uh, tell me about the high priestess. What is the secret? What's going on here? 
Mm, it's all kinds of cards. Yeah, it's whether to invest in this or not. So there it is. It has to do with um, five of wands, six of wands. Yeah, someone's pride, ego, possibly. But I, I feel it has to do with choosing the one. Yeah, someone very focused on the physical. See, they're only focused on the physical. So watch out for anyone who tries to manipulate. Yeah, someone here is manipulating. I don't know whether it could be jealousy. Someone's jealous. It could be a, someone competing. Yeah, what is going on? Tell me about the magician. It's an energy of manifesting through communication. It's the way someone communicates. I feel they're manipulative. Yeah, I'd be a little, yeah, they're it's confirming it. They're not telling you something. Now, sometimes you got a crush. Some of you might have a crush too. There may be a few things going on. It could be someone who's maybe not telling someone and we have a person questioning, but I feel like that Queen of Swords is here and I feel like you need to be very discerning here. Yeah, it has to do with someone, it has to do with confidence, strength. See, kindness, compassion, often forgiveness. But it has to do with taming the beast, teaching someone how you want to be treated. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And I do feel there could be competition. There could be a couple people competing. So there could be some jealousy here. Yeah, it could be a, if you have a female friend who's a Libra or a Gemini, I would be a little cautious of that, of uh, someone here. But yeah, no, you've got a person here who they want to, you got a person who wants to take action. It's about fighting for something they want. There's, you got a person who's got some feelings. I do feel there's some kind of competition, but I would be very careful. It does look like there's a, a three people here. Yeah, and I mean, it could be a feminine energy competing for the same person where they're manipulating the other person. But I also feel this energy of taming the beast, teaching someone how you want to be treated. It's an energy of someone who needs to come in right. They need to come in right. And it could be someone else giving them advice too, to go after it. So just really watch. Yeah, there's that moon, the confusion. See, I, I feel heavy cancer energy, secrets, mysteries. Page of Swords energies here is twice. There's a mirroring. Now, I don't know if you've got two people competing against each other. And there's another person here giving someone advice. But I really feel like you need to be discerning here about what's taking place. Teaching someone how you want to be treated. Tame the beast. They need to communicate clearly. Someone needs to put themselves out there. They need to put all the cups on the table. They need to put in the effort. It's also an energy of someone doing inner work. Now, it could be a, a competition in the workplace or a place where you go, where you socialize. Let's have a look at that Ten of Pentacles. Why is that here? This is often a place. Yeah, so yeah, some of you may be reflecting on the past, reminiscing. And I do feel the temptation, somebody trying to tempt you. And I feel like you're going to be tempted, but it's telling you to look before you leap. See, so there's an energy of taking that leap of faith and going down this path. Yeah, I really feel like it, it, there's this reflecting on something that happened, reminiscing a situation with somebody who, you know, reached out to you but didn't follow through. They may have asked you out and then didn't follow through. So I do feel there's an energy of asking the question, something to do with why. Secrets, mystery, confusion. What's all the confusion? What are you hiding? Because, you know, but I still feel like there's this other person. Who is this Queen of Swords? Who is the Queen of Swords? Whoops. Look at all the cards. Yeah, so I there it is. Someone putting on the brakes. Someone who's trying not to be ruled by their emotions, being very logical, sensible. Yeah, strong Gemini, making a choice between two. Some of you have to make some sort of choice. Yeah, there it is. He's someone's pride and ego. I could see that with the... The Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands, pride and ego, competition, drama, someone taking action, going after what they want. So something here wasn't successful because someone's pride got in the way. Has to do with long term and opportunity offering the cup. So that's what this is about here. Yeah, it's about someone taking action, overcoming obstacles, drama. 
I feel the best thing to do is keep things to yourself. But I would be very careful about this temptation. Pull back. So it's an energy of after a period of time. I feel this is someone who didn't follow through. So after a period of time, I feel this is someone reaching out. So they're kind of hesitant. Maybe even a little apprehensive here. But, you know, it's an energy of someone taking control. See, taking charge. Strong cancer energy. Pisces energy. So it's an energy I feel yourself here putting on the brakes. Maybe you have a choice. You're pulled in two different directions here. But yeah, there's some sort of choice in love. I see a Gemini. Very strong Gemini energy in this reading. And very strong Sag. So somebody here is a runner. It's somebody who runs away. See, because it's an energy of someone who needs to do some inner work. Or it's an energy of facing some kind of fear. That someone else will run away. So there's the cup. See, it's an energy of hoping for the best, planning for success here. Yeah, we got a person doing some inner work. It has to do with facing the fear. But definitely someone's doing some inner work. It has to do with putting in the effort and following through. Tell me about this 10. This could be someone you work with or a place where you socialize. Tell me about this. It's enough, someone perfecting their craft and skills here. It's also an energy of being kind and compassionate. Nobody's perfect. So somebody here is very kind, very compassionate, very forgiving. Yeah, maybe it's yourself that something happened here. But let's have a look at that 10. There it is. Yeah, somebody here has some regrets for not putting in the effort, not following through. They were focused on the cups that were spilled. Okay. A person who often feels like there's no hope. So I do feel there's energy of choosing the one. Making a choice. But it's someone who needs to tame the beast. They focus on the passion, the physical. It has to do with emotional intimacy, talking, communicating. This is someone who wants to come in, but they don't want to face that for some reason. So what is this person keeping to? What are they hiding? Page of Swords. Yeah. Oh, that's a fear of being rejected. Oh, yeah. So this is someone who could be someone who made up some excuses because of fear of rejection. So someone here is not quite sure what to think. I feel they're a little, little emotionally drained here. But yeah, it's a fear of rejection. Somebody who rushes in and they end it before the other person does because they're afraid they're going to be rejected. That's what's going on. Yeah. But I would really watch if there is competition. If you have a place where you go and you socialize, generally a safe place, a place that often feels like home, you know, people reach out. It could be invitations. Some of you may have, you know, several people reaching out. But, you know, if you feel something is off, I, that's where I feel. Feeling something is off, putting on the brakes. Because this looks like this is something that's happened more than once. So someone coming back in to do that, but they need to ask you out on an actual date. But there's the fear of rejection. See, now this could be someone who feels they missed an opportunity because they didn't fight for something they wanted. And there may very well have been some kind of competition. It's possible they kept it to themselves. Tell me more about the, the high priestess, the secrecy, why somebody walked away. Because somebody didn't follow through. <laughs> I don't think you're, I feel it's telling you to just keep things to yourself. Don't tell people around you. Because I do feel there could be someone else here influencing another person. See, there's that energy. Page of Pentacles. So someone reflecting on that. It's a person who communicates in a way and they don't follow through. So this is a person reminiscing. So they felt like there was no hope. This is a person who wants happy. They want to be happy. I feel this is someone longing for love. It could be someone missing somebody, but often it's a person who's longing for love. And for some reason, this person, it looks like they just take off in the other direction. They run away because they feel they're going to be rejected or it won't be long term. It won't be successful. Um, if you have another person around you, it has to do with choosing the one, but... If there has been competition or there's someone competing, maybe you're not even aware that someone's competing. But I, if it's anyone, it's this Queen of Swords. But I still feel it's, you know, the Queen of Swords speaking up. You want to know. It's about asking questions, being discerning. 
Maybe you should have tempered your words. Maybe you were a little harsh. Maybe you kind of scared this person away. So it, it does, you know, speak of being patient, investing. You know, be a little bit patient with this person. Because I feel this is someone who's several times reached out and run away. And I see it twice with the Page of Pentacles. But I feel this is someone going to follow through this time. But I do feel if they do, you may ask them. But it's saying to watch your words. Yeah, this is someone coming in to take action. Aries, Leo, Sag, King, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you got something cooking here. Now, if it's not this person, it's somebody else. But someone's getting cut out. I feel like you're putting on the brakes. But it's also taking, you know, putting on the brakes and taking another look. This is someone taking another look themselves at how they're communicating. So it has to do with asking you out. Now, if there is, it could be someone trying to find out mystery, confusion, things they don't know. They don't know if there's competition. But I feel like, and there could be somebody here who is competition too, someone who takes action. So it's often very charming, tr attractive person, very theatrical, somebody who, you know, is very confident. So somebody here lacks confidence and someone here is confident. And that's what I feel this is about. So... Yeah, tell me more about this moon. Where's this headed? Yeah, see, someone here's, you know, has some trust issues. Now, it does look mixed messages, mixed signals. Someone's trying to figure something out. I feel it's an energy of trusting. Someone has trust issues. And it could be yourself, unable to trust somebody. Yeah, there we have the queen. Of, now we have the king and queen of cups. Yeah, I feel it's just an energy of overcoming trust it's about taking action, avoiding drama. So I feel there's been drama or competition, and it very well could be other people involved here. But I'm not seeing that other than, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is whether someone comes in stable, whether they're reliable. See, someone wasn't reliable. It has to do with wanting someone who's reliable, someone you can count on. See, it's an energy of that. So I feel someone is sort of looking at that energy here. Maybe you were dating this person. They decided to run off because they felt there was competition or they were trying to avoid drama. Yeah. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. I have to. <laughs> Tell me more. I can't quite put my finger on who it is. It's like it's not meant to be known, but I do feel it's something that's, yeah, see, there it is. It's an energy of someone who's not giving up. They're looking back. Someone who feels beat up. And they're looking back at this. See, they didn't follow through. Now, there could be something being revealed here where someone's telling someone and this other person's thinking of taking action. I mean, regardless, we have the King and Queen of Cups and the King and Queen of Wands. So, And we have all that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Gemini and Libra, especially Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, it's about taking something to the next level, making a choice, a life path choice. So it's an energy where someone runs away when it's time to take it to the next level. So it's an energy of someone f not following through. Uh, somebody asking you out and then they didn't follow through. Now maybe they made a choice with someone else. There was competition. But I feel there's a lot of unknown here. The moon is here twice. Um, yeah, but I feel trust issues and mixed messages. Somebody here sending mixed messages. Maybe it's yourself and you're not realizing it. So now's a good time to figure out what it is you want, what makes you happy, because I actually feel this person's about to come in. Yeah, it has to do with taking it to the next level. Yeah, see, being wise <laughs> yourself. Maybe it's yourself. It's possible, Aries, it's yourself here, you know. Yourself running away when it's time to take it to the next level whatever that is. Now, often it's just a crossroads, a choice between two, choosing the one if you have a choice. Yeah, you want someone who comes in. I feel it really all has to do with someone who follows through. You want someone who follows through, you know. But what's so interesting is I feel like this person wants to follow through. They're longing for love. Now, somebody here, it starts out as a crush. They come in, they reach out, but they don't follow through. So either somebody has said something telling this person there's competition and it's here twice or it's just yourself not you know having to decide you have a decision it almost looks like it's the same 
situation all over again here. But it's an energy of looking on this with kindness, compassion. See, it has to do with trust issues, secrets, mystery, confusion. It's also very romantic energy, but... Like I say, when somebody is secretive or they don't share, this is someone who doesn't share often about themselves, what they really want. I mean, this is a person exploring their feelings, just wanting to date, but I can see they didn't follow through or you didn't let them because they didn't come in right. So, yeah, very in interesting read here. But like I say, it's looking on the past with kindness, compassion. Feel like you're open you want someone who reciprocates who follows through someone you can rely on someone here you can't rely on and someone you can and it some of you too i feel like you're becoming very uh, very wise here but i do feel it's saying to temper your words watch your words because there could be something you're saying that's making this person them put on the brakes because it is a cancer energy or pisces it could be anyone but I still feel it's almost like yourself. So, I mean, if you have done this with someone before, rushed in, didn't follow through and put on the brakes because you felt something was off, it's possible someone here is just not your type. But it's about speaking and saying these things with compassion. But if you've done this before, then you can't really... It's an energy of looking at this person Maybe you've done the same thing and they're doing it. So it's an energy, of, I feel, maybe being understanding to it here. But yeah, it's like something's happened twice or you've got two people doing the same thing. So, I mean, the Queen of Cups is an energy of someone who wants love, but you want someone who you can count on and rely on. When they ask you out, they show up. <laughs> they follow through. Because I feel like you're not interested in, and I, it could be someone who's made up excuses. It could even be yourself making up excuses. See, it's a lack of confidence. Somebody ran away. And they lack the confidence or they're not sure how you feel. But I feel the only way is to talk, to communicate. But just watch out for anyone who manipulates if you've got two people. Stay strong and be brave, but do look on the past with kindness, compassion. It's showing that and i do feel this king of cups is someone kind and compassionate so it's almost like there's this energy of forgiveness and to do with mixed messages mixed sing signals a lot of confusion um yeah wow tell me more about the queen of cups what a reading aries what is going on but you've got a couple of people around but i feel it's up to you you're gonna have to decide yeah it's Figure out what it is you want that makes you happy. See, someone feels like there's no hope for this to work out. But it has to do with putting in the... If you've put a lot of work into... You know, it's an energy often where someone reaches out. the other. They want the other person to do the work. They want the other, other person to reach out and reciprocate. Uh, to maybe, you know, to invite. Maybe they want you to invite them. But I feel like you're not going to do that. Because I feel for you, it's if you've done that before... And it, they still came running in and took off and the, they came in all enthusiastic and then ran away. This is where I feel like you're, you're reminiscing about it, whether it has to do with this person or not. So, yeah, it's an energy of come to me right or don't come to me at all. Uh, and I do see trust issues, mixed messages, mixed signals, creating just more confusion. But, yeah, it's a person who's definitely... You know, I mean, sometimes people don't like to hurt people's feelings and they feel you're just not my type. They don't. So they start to they just make up an excuse. Uh, and it's often not a fear of, of being rejected or the fear that there's things hidden or fear of competition, conflict, drama. <laughs> It'd be different for everyone. But yeah, it's saying figure out what it is you want now. See, someone needs to put all their cups on the table. And that's what I feel. This is two people who need to just put all their cups on the table and put themselves out there. because that's And it's here twice. There's so many duplicate cards here. It tells me we got two people who are kind of mirroring each other a little bit here. But watch out for that. If there is one other person involved here, just be a little caution as someone who manipulates. Now, it could be someone who manipulates someone else because they're jealous. And it could be a masculine. It doesn't have to be a feminine energy. If there's a Gemini person here uh, where they're jealous. Now, this is often jealousy. I mean, this to me is jealousy right here. Where did it go? 
Wands. The Five of Wands energy. There it is. This is this is jealousy. It's competition. It's someone looking back. So this is something that may have already happened. It's someone who just kind of feels like giving up. Putting it behind, moving on to something more successful. So some of you might just tell somebody that or another person has. Like I say, there's competition or, around you. And if it isn't a feminine, this is yourself. You have someone here who could be a Gemini. Or, you, you know, I don't feel like it's this Cancer energy. I mean, it could be a Scorpio or Pisces for some of you, too, with that King of Wands. It, and the King of Wands, King of Cups often to me is Scorpio. But, yeah, I mean, I really feel like there could be someone who's, they don't really want you, but they don't want this other person to have you. So I would be very wise and just speak up. I feel it's time for communication with whoever this is, whatever this scenario is. Yeah, let's grab a couple of these outcome cards to see. Yeah. The sacred destiny. What is the destiny of this situation? Fulfillment. Yeah, see, there's opportunity. There is an opportunity, but things are hidden. This is the moon. Things aren't clear. There needs to be clarity. Things need to be cleared up. Yeah, something that it's happened. I feel this is something because this is an energy of someone who pulls back after a period of time and looks at things differently, seeing things different. Now, it could be just trying a different type or trying a different type of person. So sometimes when you meet someone who's different than the usual type, it feels off. So there could be some trust issues there. So, but yeah, if you have, and if it is yourself making up excuses because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings because you've done that before by being just straight up. Sometimes being straight up works for some people, but other people are more sensitive. So like I say, maybe it's yourself. You made up, you just told this person a story, made up excuse because you didn't want to just out and out reject them and hurt their feelings. Or there was competition and you had another opportunity. So if it's not you, it could be the other person. But there's the fulfillment. See, this is an energy of emotional fulfillment. Something's going to happen with this situation. Okay, you can see there's a peach here. It's ripening. It needs a little more sun. So in other words, there needs to be some clarity. So an energy where two people need to just put all their cups on the table. But now is the time to figure out what it is you want, what makes you happy. If you have a person who keeps coming in and they don't follow through uh, once, twice, you know, three times, whatever. Yeah, you may decide to try somebody else here that's coming in. Someone who's more emotionally mature, available. So that's what I feel like. I mean, you could have a person here who's really charming, really attractive, you know, but they're a runner. They're just a bit of a player. They're just playing the field, you know, or they just want that physical connection where you want, you actually want love. You want someone who offers the cup. So that could be where you make that choice. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you get a person who's super attractive and charming, you know, and they come in and they're fast, they want to take it to the next level before they've even shared any feelings, before you even really know each other very well. So it could be just reminiscing about lessons you've learned here. So I do feel there's some kind of fulfillment. This is the peach ripening. See, this is there's an opportunity, but it, it needs to be cleared up because there's things hidden. Okay. Yeah, what a what an interesting read. Let me pull out one more. Yeah, I feel it's just a matter of, you know, I feel like you could be emotionally fulfilled. This is an energy of being happy, seeing the bigger picture. This is yourself. I feel like maybe you figured something out here, too, where you can see the bigger picture of someone who's jealous. They come in, they they compete with this other person, and then they don't they don't follow through. Who's the person who will follow through? That's the King of Cups, someone who's emotionally mature. And I still feel they could be a Scorpio. So, but yeah, I feel there's, there's a Gemini in here. Strong Gemini energy. Now that's Mercury energy. It's um, could be anyone, but I mean, it's just an energy of communication and manifesting, mirroring. I mean, maybe you've got two people who mirror each other. See? It's often just an energy of curiosity, but with this energy, it's someone who's not telling you everything, that they're manipulating, or they're manipulating the other person because they don't want them to have you, but they come in and they don't follow through. <laughs> All right, yeah, crazy. Embracing, see, it's an embracing. Just be still, 
You can see things are still kind of dark, but it's brightening up. So the clarity is, this is going to get cleared up, whatever this is. You might, honestly, you might be unaware of some of this. But at some point here, I feel like you're going to put on the brakes. You're going to take another look at the situation. And I feel like you're going to find something out here. You're definitely going to ask truth. But it's saying to be kind, compassionate, be patient. Watch your words a little. Being a little bit... I mean, it's possible you could have scared someone off here because of a situation that happened before. Often that happens, you know. You get into a situation and you learn, you you reflect on it before you looking before you leap. You're remembering something that happened, dating another person. Okay, things that were confusion hidden. See, but that moon energy is here. That's why I feel somebody who didn't follow through possibly is going to come in again, and it might be because they're jealous of another person. So. And it could be a feminine energy, could be a masculine. I do see a feminine possible Gemini. You may have that in your chart, but I, I feel like there's someone here either giving someone advice or telling someone to, <clears throat> to move on. Because often you can have a, a feminine energy where they want someone, but the other person doesn't want them, so they try to, you know, throw a throw a... A stick into this into the wheel there to uh, stop this they can't have that person you can't have them either energy and it could go either way but yeah i feel like if you just spend just be still just kind of because i do think this is something that's going to cl get cleared up here there's going to be a conversation yeah see there it is the deep dive so this is your inner wisdom trust your inner knowing i feel like you know who this other these people are involved there is definitely these it's either a masculine or a feminine, Gemini, I feel. They're either the competition or they're manipulating somebody. Making somebody not follow through. But I actually feel like this person's going to follow through. That's why I feel embracing this opportunity as an opportunity to clear something up. Okay? So just that's deeply emotional with the wisdoms talking and communicating if it isn't a jealousy energy it could be just clearing up why this person doesn't follow through but it's saying to be kind and compassionate about it if it's someone who's made up excuses because if you've done this yourself before because you didn't want to hurt someone or you weren't ready or whatever happened okay it's telling you to look at it that way but i i do see possible forgiveness between two people because I feel it's going to come out. So just be wise. Take a deep dive into those emotions. Figure out what it is you want now because it's coming. Okay? Take care and we'll see you soon.